Hey, what's up, guys? You know, today we, I'm going to talk about something that I think I should talk more on my channel since I'm a motivational speaker and I go and help, you know, some programs here in, in Georgia against drugs, you know, you know, trying to get kids not to to steer that way of doing drugs and I was seeing this report that just came out, you know, again this year that's been coming out and they was talking about fentanyl, you know, and they, an official report came out saying that uh, there's an overdose on fentanyl. People die every day in the United States. 137 people die because of it every single day, you know, which is a lot. Um, they were saying also that I think it's like 30% of the overdose deaths, you know, of drugs has to do because of fentanyl, you know, and it's a, it's a very, very deadly drug. If you don't know, um, supposedly, or according to, to scientists, you know, it's 40 to 50 times more stronger than heroin or a hundred times, you know, more, more, more potent than, than morphine. And what I'm seeing now, you know, when we go talk to schools or, you know, not talk to schools, talk to the kids and all the reports are, you know, back in the day, um, fentanyl was just used, you know, to mix it up with heroin or cocaine. But, you know, nowadays, um, you know, the original form of fentanyl, you know, was legal back in the days of the 90s. But we're not going all the way back to that. You know, we're going to stay on the topic why it's so deadly right now. And for me, I think is that, you know, they just mixing it up in different type of things now. You know, you see it on weed, um, pills, you know, pills that are made in the streets, you know, like the Xanax and all those opioids, you know, that they're made, handmade, not made in labs. You know, they, they cut them with that or they put them in those drugs, man. And that's what a lot of people don't understand. You know, you can get pills in the streets for five or ten dollars that contain fentanyl. You don't even know it. You can get weed that contains fentanyl. You don't even know it, you know. And some people say that, you know, three milligrams can kill an adult person. There's other people, you know, that that say that, you know, only one quarter of a milligram. But however, that's still a little amount that you won't even know. And of course, you probably won't even a regular person would didn't even see the regular form of it you know just a white powder they call it white china now you know but before i think back in the day white china was just um heroin from from china if i'm not mistaken if i am you know yeah i'm sorry but that ain't even that you know the sad thing about it that you know at first it was just coming um majority of it was coming from over there from from china but a couple of years ago were stuff that i've been seeing now you know with the mexican cartels are that they're making their own fentanyl they're getting their things from china and they're making it over here um or over there in mexico so they stop uh they stopped doing what they were doing with a lot of drugs like with weed or the opium poppy you know growing the the opium the, the opium poppies to do the heroin in a lot of states they stopped that and they just put it up you know put up labs so because it's more profitable you know because i think um, that one kilo of pure fentanyl is five thousand dollars, and you can make that. You know, you can make the fentanyl real quick. You know, you just gotta be careful. But uh, they were saying that you know, uh, for one pure kilo of fentanyl, you know, you can make up to up to thirty million dollars. You know what I mean? Uh, who? And that I think that's the problem now. You know, that day just cutting it and putting it up in, in different places, like in different pills and weed. Like I said, it's so deadly, man. I've seen these cases I was going through, through, through videos of, you know, of police officers, you know, just going through it, just bumping into it and just, you know, a little bit. Um, he, um, he smelled a little bit and it passed out and stuff like that. You know, they say, you know, it's just grains of it that can kill you but I think in my personal experience not with that but you know I think it's probably what they run into is you know it's either pure form because you know with anything you know uh, 
I think you the 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 things they could probably are right here. You know, the fentanyl, even though it's deadly, is not the pure form that majority people have in their hands. You know, because they you still got to cut it down because. Uh, supposedly even to grab it, you know, you, it, it can kill you even if you touch it. So a lot of people have to, to be, you know, be real protective to do it. So, you know, like I always say, when I go speak in schools, man, it ain't even that, you know, you just, if you don't want to fall into, you know, and that you don't have to be worrying about it if you don't do drugs, you know, if you don't even do them once, you, so you don't have to be worrying about that stuff, you know, and it's sad. And like I said, I guess now it's the crisis is more because you put them or they they are putting them in what teenagers are using now. Like I said, weed, uh, the pills, you know, the fake pills that, that, that they be doing, you know, like I said, back in the day, they probably just did it with heroin, you know, cut it up and or in the cocaine. But, you know, once you got in heroin, you know, it was like the, the worst, you know. So that's why probably, you know, back in the day, they didn't see it as much because once you you know you was in heroin you was already probably messed up but now when you you, you put them in pills or you put them in weed and you're getting so much you getting them so much more people's hands you know that can overdose you know that's what makes it a lot worse you know and it, it's i think something that uh like every other drug you know they're having problems to stop it you know me personally i don't think catching or it's good that they trying to catch it you know but i think also they should start doing more programs man for kids or for adults because it's so hard me being a you know going to schools and being a motivational speaker and trying to get kids to not do drugs and going and you know talking about my personal life um i don't think they don't do a lot in that case with them like they don't have too many programs to go teach them about that you know, in life, you know, because it's so easy, you know, to be with somebody or your friends and they tell you to do stuff. You know, a lot of us have that personal, you know, that 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 personal will that not, you know, I'm straight. I don't want to try it. But there's a lot of them that, you know, that we know people that try to fit in the same crew you in that just to be in that crew, they are willing to do that. You know what I mean? You know, and if you're a parent listening to this, you know, just be careful. Try to talk to your kids. Um about it you know a lot of times it's harder a lot of times we don't want to believe it that they're doing it however you know it's just it's okay to talk to them you know what I mean a lot of times they don't probably ain't gonna listen I was those type of kids (laughs) that I got mad if my mom told me something but if somebody else told me that you know if that's what you have to do you know get one of your friends to tell them you know how bad it is or what can happen to you especially now like I said with the fentanyl you know it's been out you know it's not nothing new but a lot of a lot of kids don't don't realize, you know, how how what they smoking on now or popping pills, you know, what they contain. Um, like I said, man, just that's why, you know, fentanyl. I think that for me, I think that's the reason why now, you know, it's so 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 not addictive. I said de- deadly because they they are put it in. They're put it. It, I'm sorry, I'm stuttering. <laughs> They're putting it in stuff that more people are doing. If I get what I'm saying. You know, if you get what I'm saying, I get what I'm saying. <laughs> like I said, I don't want to keep repeating myself. You know, it's just that, you know. it's Hopefully I helped you out with this one. You know, don't forget, if you like these type of videos, subscribe to my channel. You know, I'm DRT. Also, know, you know, my real name, Denicio Torres. You can fi- find me on Facebook. Also, man, um, you can go check my book out, My Second Chance with the New Vision. And it talks about a little bit about, you know, what I'm talking about right now, how I ended up blind and, you know, what was the reason why I got shot and stuff like that. So I leave you with this one, man. Like I said, all right, see you on the next one. I'm out.